This is a short introduction to process physics, a way of doing foundational physics developed by Australian professor Reg Cahill. This is a kind of physics in which nature is being modeled as if it were one giant undivided process of complexly interrelated connectivity patterns. Historically, Galileo was the first to systematically experiment with nature and separate it into subject system and target system. According to physicist Lee Smolin, this method may be called doing physics in a box, as it singles out target systems from the rest of the world. Galileo's cut between target and subject side is what eventually enabled physics to portray nature in terms of lawful physical equations, like the law of fall, for instance. Putting this cut into practice, however, suggests that there uh, should be some ultimate center of subjectivity where conscious experience resides and where sense data is turned into mental content. However, in reality, no such center has ever been found. Instead, modern cognitive neuroscience points out that consciousness is associated with mutual informativeness, massive back and forth signaling within and among neuronal groups. It turns out that this typically takes place during wakefulness and dreaming here illustrated by brain activity that reverberates all over the cortex after a magnetic coil pulse. But when there is only a static response, as shown on the right, we may conclude that nobody's home, so to say, and the person is in an unconscious state with very little mutual informativeness. Now, remarkably, process physics also revolves around such mutual informativeness. Accordingly, it may be called a way of doing physics without a box, as it starts from a matrix that models a vacuum-like primordial background without any artificial target subject split. Out of this background, mutually informative activity patterns start to organize themselves by going through what may be called routine of nature. Derived from quantum field theory, this relational update routine of process physics brings together a noise term a cross-linkage term, and a history-preserving precedence term. These jointly give rise to a rich self-organizing network of connectivity in which all kinds of phenomena emerge that we can also find in nature itself. Among them are inertial gravitational and relativistic effects, non-locality, classical behavior, emerging three-dimensionality, and more. Early on in the evolution of the process physics model, its internally unfolding foreground patterns first take on a cellular shape, like this. And as the system progresses, these in turn will branch out to form an expanding universe. And eventually, these outward growing connectivity patterns enable the formation of a filament forming neural network like structure. This is similar to what can be seen in the Millennium Simulation of the Universe, for instance. Unlike our present theories, however, process physics leads to neural network-like structure formation without having to invoke artificially added concepts like dark matter and dark energy. In that respect, it has some remarkable commonalities with recent work on gravitation, particularly that of Eric Verlinde. Thank you so much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you have any questions, please let me know. Bye bye.